Hey, welcome back to the Sardis portion of the Revelation series. Today we're looking at the good stuff about Sardis. And if you're liking these videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up below. Uh, share uh, on your social media, on your Facebook. Um, all of that stuff really does help give the church more exposure. And we really, really would appreciate that. But like I said, today we're looking at the good stuff Jesus has to say about the church in Sardis. Now, out of all the seven churches mentioned in chapter 2 and chapter 3, Sardis has the shortest commendation. In fact, many scholars will not even count what Jesus says. Jesus says something here is a positive thing, but there's condemnation that quickly follows it. So a lot of times they, they don't talk about this as actually being a good thing. Now, Jesus says, verse 3, I know your works, that you have a reputation of being alive, but you're dead. <laughs> so, uh, Douglas Magnum, for instance, or sorry, Douglas Mangum, <laughs> I don't know why I called him Magnum. Uh, he's big. He's a big guy. Um, whoa. Oh, that's bad. Cut. Hey, welcome back to Faith Assembly of God. We are doing our Sardis portion of the Church of Revelation, and today we're looking at the good stuff that Jesus has to say about the church. Um, if you're liking these videos, just a quick little segue here. If you're liking these videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up, share them, tell people about them. We want to give the, the uh, YouTube channel a little bit more exposure in order to grow it and so that more people uh, come here and they get fed the Word of God. So if you do have a chance to do that, we'd really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a sermon, you don't miss uh, classes like this, things like that. We'd really appreciate it. But again, we're talking about the good stuff, the Church of Sardis, done with the commercial. Uh, out of all seven churches, this one actually has the shortest commendation. In fact, some scholars, actually many commentators, won't even count this as a good thing Jesus is saying to them because it's abruptly followed by condemnation. But the good thing Jesus says to them in verse 3, I know your works, that you have a reputation of being alive. And then he says, but you're dead. He says that very quickly. Now, Douglas Mangum, for instance, he, he's going to write, Unlike the other letters, Christ's knowledge of the church in Sardis includes only rebuke. He finds nothing commendable about the church as a whole. And that's probably accurate, okay? Uh, but... <sighs> Why, would, why do people see it that way? Well, the word works here in the Greek, erga, it's what they've done. It's works for, it's the works themselves. If you pay close attention, they aren't really commended. Like I said, it, it, it sounds like he's saying a good thing. You have a good reputation. You know, you have a history of doing good works, you, you, or of being alive. You, you've done good things, but really you're dead. So in other words, this commendation is really no commendation at all. That's kind of the, the bait and switch, I guess, I did there. A, may, a more modern way of, of reading this is possibly, I know what you've been up to recently, or I've seen what you've done. Many churches are like Sardis. They have a good reputation. They've done good things in the past, but they're doing nothing now. I mean, everybody in the town might, might have good things to say about the church from 20 years ago. But what have they done recently? Who are they? Where are they from? Well, I mean, where are they at theologically? Where are they at doctrinally? How, how faithful are they to the message? They might have been 15, 20, 30 years ago, but they've lost their way. Many churches are like this nowadays. But it's not clearly saying to Sardis. It's not saying uh, what has been done is necessarily a good thing. What they're doing currently is not a good thing. They have a reputation of being alive. But nothing good has come of it because now they're dead. And what's worse is they, they likely don't even realize how dead and how desperate their situation currently is. So what exactly would be the good thing then? Well, at some point in their past, they probably were a solid church. So that is a good thing in a sense, but it's nothing good now. There is no good statement for what they're doing now. They, they once were something to talk about, but... Now they're forgettable. Now they're dying. They're fading. In fact, they're actually already dead. They're a body that's stopped moving, that stopped growing, that stopped pushing themselves, stopped trying to learn, stopped trying to be teachable, stopped. They're just dead. 
So the good thing is actually more of a reflection of the bad thing. And that's going to be more of what we talk about in the next video. So we'll see you back here next week at 8 a.m. And we really appreciate you watching these. Like I said, if you do enjoy these, make sure you give us a thumbs up and share the video with your friends, your family, your loved ones. Maybe this is something that they will one day really wish they'd watched or do watch and it helps prepare them for what's coming. I don't know. Anyway, God bless you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.